get ready to fire up those cannons and shower the world in cuteness. Or fire. That can happen. We're going to take a look at having a successful baby shower event. And note that hosting this event will require the Growing Together expansion pack. Firstly, know that your sim doesn't have to be pregnant in order to host this event. And if you're ready to get the event started right away, then you can use your phone to plan a social event. Or if you're not ready right now, you can use the calendar to plan the event a few days into the future. Most of the time, you'll want to plan a gold event, which will see you eligible to earn rewards from it. For the event, you'll need to have at least one expecting parent with a maximum of two allowed, though again, they don't need to be pregnant at the time. You'll also need at least two guests and you can optionally hire a caterer and a mixologist for the day. When setting up for the event, you won't need too much, but ideally you will want a radio to play music, a celebration cannon to fire, and potentially a high quality camera to take some pictures. A bar can also be helpful to ensure a successful event. Now when the baby shower begins, you'll have a range of event goals appear on the top left and completing these will help fill up the bar which signals how successful your event is overall. The aim being to completely fill it and end with a gold level event, which provides you with some handy rewards. Now the main goal of the event that gives you a big boost towards making it successful is to talk about the new baby six times, and related event interactions are located within the small talk section of friendly interactions. These include socials to guess your new baby baby's future career and to gush about the new baby. And gushing about the new baby two times can sometimes be a separate task to complete for the event. Other event tasks include needing to thank guests for coming, which again is located within the small talk section. You could also need to tell three funny stories, which I located under funny and then stories. Another task is to grab a drink, which is easily done by using a bar to drink something. You may need to take three photos, which is actioned using your phone or one of the buyable cameras. And know that the more expensive buyable cameras can take larger and often nicer quality photos. And that just generally, it can be quite fun to take some extra pictures. Additionally, you could be required to dance which is where your stereo comes in, and you may need to congratulate the expecting parents, which is located within the friendly compliments section. Note that from my experience, expecting parents are not able to do this to each other. You may also need to share baby gifts, and during the event, you can click on an expecting parent and buy and gift them a baby shower present. And if you have a relevant object in your inventory, then you can gift one from your inventory too. Also note that sometimes during a baby shower, your guests can randomly gift you things. And this can both be so cute and so much fun and see you wind up with a few extra objects to get you started on caring for your little one. The final task we'll talk about that you might need to complete is to use the celebration cannon. Buy and place this object, and then an expecting parent can fire it, which will give you a playful moodlet that reveals that you've told the general area that you're expecting a sim. I did test this after having my sim's baby's gender determined by a sim in the doctor career from get to work. And sadly, it still just said that they were expecting a sim rather than the baby's actual gender. Also know that sometimes the celebration cannon can cause chaos and lead to a fire breaking out. But to me, this just adds an element of fun to the event. You know, who doesn't want to announce that they're having a baby without the fear of setting their house on fire? Anecdotally, I found baby shower events to be easier to complete than many of the other events in the game. And so with a bit of attention paid to completing event tasks, you should emerge with a gold level event, and you'll receive quite a few rewards for doing so. You'll unlock and be given the bronze awards, being the Sunbunny Loves You Rattle, and the silver award, being the cute critter rattle. And infants, toddlers, and children can all play with these. But perhaps most importantly is that you'll unlock and be given the gold award, which is the Baby Bliss bassinet. And personally, this is my favorite bassinet in the game and it comes with lots of adorable color swatches. You'll also gain a large chunk of charisma experience for having a successful gold medal event. Honestly, I really enjoyed this event, 
and you can often come out the other side with a few cute gifts from guests, a few photos, and the event rewards depending on how successful your event was. Also, the fact that the tasks aren't too tricky to complete does make the event low stress and much more fun. And with that, we're at the end. That's a guide to throwing a successful baby shower in The Sims 4. If you enjoyed or found this helpful, then please subscribe and leave a like. I would really appreciate it and have an amazing day. See you later.